Welcome to the Land Guardian introduction. My name is Dara Delaney and I'm Head of Technical Services here at Te Net4 Technologies. So the Land Guardian, what is it? Well, you've got a combination of built-in applications. You've got traffic analysis, you've got intrusion detection, you've got Active Directory and eDirectory support, you've got application decoders, you get an alerting engine, and you get a long life database. Now it's also modular, so you can choose what you want. So if you take a look at the list above, you can choose what components matches your requirements, and they are, they're all installed on a single unit. It's passive, so we look at traffic on the wire. Now we're gonna take a look in a couple of minutes of how it actually plugs into a network, but you don't need to install any software on servers or clients, it's agents list. So the install is very quick and easy. And you get data at the right level. So we can store all flows, usernames, web details, system information, file name, events, and packets. So if you want a high level report, for example, you want to see top users on a WAN connection, you can have that. But if you're doing some analysis on the network and maybe you've got an issue with intrusion detection, you can have low level information like you can get the packets associated with that. Now you can get real time and historical information. So with our dashboards, you can have to take a look at the network as it's performing right now. But you can also run the reports interactively and select data. So for example, you may have been asked to investigate a problem that occurred a week ago. So you can get that information. So how does it plug into a network? Well, in my network here, here we have some data moving around. It consists of a network core, shown here on the left. We've got a, a LAN here towards the center. We've got a WAN connecting some remote sites. We've got a firewall and an internet connection here allowing our users to access external sites. So it's quite a typical setup. So to connect in the LAN Guardian, we just connect a sensor into the core of the network. Now we also can accept flow data. So by connecting into the flow, into the core, we get the mirror traffic. And by enabling NetFlow, or maybe on some WAN equipment, we can get the NetFlow or SFlow packets. So the installation here is very, very quick and easy. The mirror traffic comes out via span port or mirror port. So that can be installed in, in a couple of minutes. All information taken from the network is then stored in a custom long life database. So let's take a look at a Land Guardian in action. There are a number of ways to get information from the Land Guardian. You can access the web GUI, which I'm doing here, and I'm going to take a look at some of the reports in a minute. You can get regular reports sent to you, so you could get a, a daily report or a weekly report, and you can also get an instant alert if something bad or dangerous happens on the network. You can run reports interactively, so while my dashboard here is showing activity over the last couple of hours, you can access the reporting menu here, which allows you to run reports for whatever time period you want. And you could also select to run a report, maybe go back to some historical data, maybe go back a week. So let's take a look at some of the dashboards that are configured on this Land Guardian. And the, the dashboards here are fully configurable, so you can set them up to suit your environment. So the first dashboard here, which focuses on traffic and bandwidth, I've got a trend showing traffic through my core switch. I've got the top applications in use on the network over the last four hours, top servers and top clients. So if I've got a trend set up like this, monitoring traffic through the core, and I see a high amount of data flowing through the core, I can click on the peak and I can drill down to get further information of what happened at that time. So this is the, the peak here. So it looks like most of the traffic, in this case, almost half was web traffic, and I can click and drill down more to find out what websites people are accessing. If I go back to the dashboards here, the second column here on the right hand side looks at traffic to and from a remote office. So this happens to be my New York office link. I can have the traffic on the link, what applications are on the happening are flowing across the link, who the top users of the link are. If we look at the detail here, we can see a lot of the traffic is proxy traffic. And further down here, we can see the user, the proxy server they're using, and the websites they're accessing. If I take a look at the security dashboard, which focuses more on suspicious activity on the network, I find out here, there's a net, one of the elements is red. We've got machine here, looks to be infected with a worm, and scanning the network. We've got a number of hosts down here, so we're monitoring a couple of hosts on the network. So we've got a couple of issues here where, where the connectivity is lost. Here we have some users downloading torrent files. 
On the left-hand side here towards the bottom, we've got a firewall validation report. This is looking at inbound traffic through the firewall. So it looks like we've two ports open on the firewall here. And we can drill down further to find out what external clients are coming into the network. So this is a really useful report to validate your firewall rule, firewall rule set. If I take a look at the user's dashboard here, it looks more at what the users are doing on the network. So these are my top users. And I have the option here to drill down and find out what they're doing on the network that's causing them to generate so much traffic. We've, we've got a report here showing MP3 file sharing over the last couple of hours. So somebody here has been sharing out some music files. Over on the right hand side here, we've got an element here which focuses on sensitive files. Now on this network, there's a share called sales and within that folder, there's some really sensitive files. So this element here allows us to monitor who's accessing the, the sales folder and what files within that they're accessing. The next element here looks at what files have been deleted from the network. So in this case, Microsoft Office files, what file has been deleted and allows us to drill down and find out who's, who's been deleting the file. The last element here allows us to look at who are the top users of the proxy on the network. And all of these elements you see here, all of this information is gathered passively from the network. So it doesn't require clients or software to be installed on servers. It's done by looking at the traffic as it flows on the wire and, and it gives it this level of visibility. You can have compliance dashboards, like for example, the SOX dashboard here focuses on some financial data and also user accounts, which are being used on more than one workstation. And you can also have views like a green view, which shows clients which have been left on uh, during the night and also what are the least used servers on my network. So that's a very, very quick introduction. We do have a lot more videos on our YouTube site, which looks at setting up dashboards and setting up custom reports. So if you're interested, uh, please take some time out to watch those videos. To evaluate our software, please go to www.net4technologies.com. On the homepage there, you'll see an option to request a trial. So we will give you access to, the, to our software, which you can install on your own server. And we've got some videos on YouTube. So if you check out our YouTube channel, which got some good videos there on how to install the system, how to customize the system. So you can take a look at your own data.